Okay, give me all my stuff back. This is boring. Oh my gosh, it is so hard to share sometimes, isn't it? This is Britta Alton. I'm the Children's Director at Ringgold United Methodist Church, and I welcome you this week. We're just talking a little bit about what Pastor Chris's sermon is about. I'm going to have Evan read for us today. Acts 4, verses 32 through 35. All the believers were agreed in heart and mind. They didn't claim that anything they had was their own. Instead, they shared everything they owned. With great power, the apostles continued their teaching. They were telling people that Lord Jesus has risen from the dead and God's grace was working powerfully in all of them. So there were no needy persons among them. From time to time, those who owned land or houses sold them. They brought money from the sales. They put it down to the apostles' feet. It was given out to anyone who needed it. So you guys saw how my two big kids can get into a fight over something. I don't know if you guys at home have siblings that live with you or if you're an only child and um, everything that is your in your room is your own but um, inevitably we're gonna be told to share right even my chickens have to share we have food and water set out but nobody gets their own container of food they all have to share together and sometimes you'll see that they will snuggle up together and keep warm especially at night so sharing what you have is important it's really important for everyone uh, but as a person of faith what does that mean to you because if you just share what you have anybody can do that even my chickens do that but when you decide to share what you have as a way to partner with God that's when things really start to get interesting you'll have things like Evan who has an ability to read being able to share scripture with you today. That's when you will see people who can sew, creating masks to help those that need them during this um, pandemic. That's when you'll get to see that people, when they give as a part of their faith, really amazing things happen in this world. I'm excited to hear what Pastor Chris has to say, and I hope that you guys will go and have a blessed day and find a way to share something with another person and that way you get to be a blessing as well we'll see you again soon bye